So we're going to look at another example of distance on this third question. And it says an architect is drawing a plan for a location of support beam in a new office building on a coordinate grid. The beam on the plan will run from this point to this point. So let's, let's locate our points here. I've got A and B on the coordinate grid. Given the distance formula, how would you write the expression representing the shortest distance between A and B in units? These two questions, because 3A and 3B are very similar, if you look at 3B, it's the same thing except you're given different points. Guys, don't overthink these questions. A lot of people see these word problems and they run the other direction. They say, forget it, I'm not answering that, and you guess. These two questions are actually very quick. You just have to know how to set up the distance formula. That's all you're doing. You're not solving. And then don't let those little variables, C and D and J and K, throw you off. Though, remember, variables are just placeholders. They're numbers. There's a number there. We just don't know what it is. That could be 4, 5, and negative 7, 9. We just don't know what C and D are right now. So if you recall, your distance formula looks like this. And you've got it written above, right here. So I'm going to rewrite my distance formula just like this. And now I'm going to go in and plug in my x2 and x1 and my y2 and my y1, and that's it. So I've given two points here. So here's x2 and here's x1. So x2 is d, so I'm literally going to plug in d, guys. You just don't know what it is for x2 and 4 for x1. And then I'm going to look at my y values, and this is my y2, 9. And this is my Y1, C. You're done. That's it. That's all you have to do. That's it. So when you come down here to the second one, you're going to have the same thing. So I'm going to have the square root. I'm going to rewrite all of these. Just rewrite the formula, and then I'm going to designate once again. And again, to remind you, every point on the graph is written x comma y. A lot of people mistake those when we do formulas like this. They call each th this x1 and x2 and that y2, y1 and y2. This is an x-coordinate, and I call it x2 because it's the second one listed, and this is an x-coordinate. Don't get those mixed up. Make sure those two go together. So 5 is x2, j is x1, and then k is y2, so that's a k, and negative 3 is y1, and you're done. The only thing you might see on the exam is what is minus a negative change to? A positive, right? So instead of seeing minus a negative, you might actually see k plus 3 because it automatically changes the sign. So that's how you do those two questions.